That's what we have to do defensively. We're going to have to hold up against their run game, but we got to get them off the field when they get to third down. It is always great to catch up with former Bengals Super Bowl safety Solomon Wilcox, the host of the opening drive on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Sally, it's been a bit of a bumpy ride so far for the Bengals, but they find themselves tied for first in the AFC North at 3-3. Three and three. Assess the team through the first six games of the season. I thought the game against the New Orleans Saints it was the best we played on offense anyway, in terms of uh, just having good balance, Ran the ball very good with Joe Mixon. And then obviously forcing them to come out of the double coverage that Jamar Chase had been getting for the first month of the season. I think the Saints game was not our best game as a football team, but it was certainly the best game for the offense. I thought we played very well in the, in the Thursday night game against Miami. It was probably our most complete game offensively and defensively. You were part of one of the great secondaries in franchise history, the SWAT team. The current group has adopted the nickname the Cleanup Crew. What stands out when you watch this group play? Shirabe Awuzie, uh, just consistent in coverage and a very good tackler. Our safety tandem of Jesse Bates and Vaughn Bell. I mean, just a really good all around group. Great in coverage, great against the run. They're not afraid to lay their pads on people. They understand and embrace the physical part of the game. I love the depth and versatility that they have in this secondary. Uh, and they're just gonna continue to get better. So the Falcons come to town this Sunday. Atlanta's rushed for at least 150 yards in five out of six games. Is stopping the run, is holding the Falcons to a reasonable number, the biggest key on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, here's a couple of things. You gotta keep them under a buck 50 because they've been over 150 each of the last three games. Three weeks ago, they went for 200 against Cleveland. And then last week against the really good 49er defense, I think they had 168 yards. And they have the fewest three and outs of any offense in the National Football League. So they know how to stay on the field on third down. So that's what we have to do defensively. We're going to have to hold up against their run game, but we got to get them off the field when they get to third down. Uh, more importantly, our offense can help with this, right? And Joe Burrow, I think, alluded to that. If your offense can get a 10 point lead and stay ahead on the scoreboard, Arthur Smith is not gonna stick with that run game. Sally, always appreciate your time and your insight. Keep up the great work and thanks again. Thanks, Dan, greatly appreciate you. Thanks for having me.